Welcome back everyone. I know it's been a good while, but here we go. Right off the bat on this day, I ended up finding this huge tarp on the floor. You mind helping me get my shaft out? Sure. It's just a small group right then. Those were a couple of yellow jacks that were swimming by and I actually hadn't gotten a yellow jack as of that moment so I wanted both of us to get yeah, I one. Taken it. I wanted us and both this to This was get my one. friend's rock one that he ended up getting. I don't know what I was doing, but I think I was trying to talk to the trigger fish kind of like if they were dogs trying to get them to stop. They actually ended up chewing on my fish a decent little bit, just on the head though. Once again, here's the flasher in action. As soon as I threw it, that mackerel ended up doing a U-turn and coming towards it. I completely botched the shot though, and it was because I shot it from the surface. For anyone a little unfamiliar about what, what a duck dive is, if you can just think about a really quick, you know, couple foot dive under the water where you're just kind of still a little horizontal but a little deeper so you can get a better angle on the fish. Bro, I shot from the surface. You were so close though, still. He, he pulled off too, yeah. I should have duck dived. Damn, neither of us knew who was going for it. I know. I was lining him up and I see you go down, so I'm like, alright, so he doesn't see me, so he's gonna take the shot. I gotta be ready. I shot. I, no, man, but. Oh, uh, but the thing is, is, man, I had a knot that stopped my shaft, and it was like, it would have been, it would have been right through him. We find him. So right here, my friend ended up shooting real? a hogfish that we were both lining up. Thing is, is I knew it was legal, but I didn't know how much. He ended up getting a shot that ended up pulling out. And here I go with a backup shot because we ended up finding it in this hole. You can already hear, I had no idea it was going to be this large. 
Dude, he's a monster. He's a monster. So if you remember that tarp I found earlier on in the video, I was keeping that on my stringer so the whole entire dive was creating so much drag for me. Yeah, no man, he's charging. He's he's like, whoop, food. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. I got a decent headshot, but the fish was so close to the shaft that it went all the way through and it just pulled it right out of my hand. Yellow jacks never cease to amaze me. I mean, the colors on them are just so bright, especially some of these with the really nice pattern on them. And they actually have a lot of meat on them. You can hear that grunting initially, and as soon as I do Ikejime, how Hida already stopped, and then I can go ahead and bleed him once he's dead. So almost throughout our whole entire dive we ended up seeing nurse sharks but there's this really cute little bonnet head just swimming by and it was a really nice thing to see. I don't often see bonnet heads. I would see some hammerheads yeah, during man, the breeding cool season but head. not those. So at the beginning of the video when I had that clip this was actually the first eagle ray I had seen in all of my beach dives in South Florida and it was so amazing just to swim with. I ended up only recording the end of it. So this is my friend Chris, this entire video. He actually owns a dive shop online that runs out of South Florida, but he's a really good diver and I feel safe with him. I actually only have about three buddies I dive with on a frequent basis, Daniel, Brandon, and Chris. And I'll probably link all their Instagrams or YouTube channels down in the comments or in the description below. So I ended up landing that shot and my friend had shot a red just right before that that had pulled up. So it was a perfect double whammy. This really was an amazing day. Not only did we get a massive hog, we got a beautiful grouper and a nice mixed bag of jacks.
Thanks for watching. If you wanted more videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned.